I'd say that God can use even the smallest of things to touch your heart. Like an old man just being a blessing by saying something to you or just someone giving up their seat for you or I don't know, just different things. Just through being a servant and through words of encouragement, God can use those to make a big impact. Probably the fact that I have so much more than I could ever need, but still these people, people are happier than I think I've ever been in my life and people have nothing. Like just like all the name brands, all the special water I have to have, these people are happy with warm water is probably not anything special and it's just been really eye-opening to me. Being open-minded and getting to know other, uh, you know, the locals here and you know people like Pastor and Jesus, or those, the people that live in the communities sure that we're helping. That, that uh, you know, just being open-minded uh, to uh, these to different cultures, and trying new uh, things. We split up into groups and we went to people's houses and um, it was people who couldn't make it to church because they were sick and we got to kind of do our own uh, just time with them with worship and like prayer and just talking to them and sharing our testimonies and I thought it was really cool because it, it pushed us outside of our comfort zone because we had to lead it and we got to connect with people just kind of a little bit of one-on-one -on -one and just kind of all of us together and really open up and hear what they had to say. My favorite thing was probably helping the coffee plantation guy because he started crying and he expressed how he was planning on just closing the whole plantation down and that would mean that a lot of people wouldn't have jobs and he employed a lot of elderly people and they can't get jobs anywhere else and they would be short, have a shortage in coffee which they do now so helping him uh, made me realize that it, without us coming he might have closed down the whole thing but he, we were able just to help him for a few hours and he's going to keep going and reopen it. Like the day we were scraping the paint yeah, yeah. and stuff with the elders and all, we were, Grace and I took our break and we saw these kids and we saw how little they had, they were laughing, having so much fun. It's like you realize that we take so much for granted for it and all the people here, they're so happy for what they have and it just makes you realize that God is working wonders. I'd say just remain humble in, in what you do um, and don't um, don't think of yourself as, as greater than, than the purpose that don't don't think outside of the purpose that God has given um, don't you know stray you know God has given each person and, and each one of you um, a gift and gifts um, and focus on those gifts and hone in on on what um, what he's done for you and, and what he what he can do for you and and um, just be yourself.